Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode, I believe, is this eight? Is this eight? I think it's eight, guys. You know, we've, we've gone over a week with uploading every day. You know, Quagmire, he, he challenged me to upload every day. I mean, technically. He technically did. All right, so here's the backstory with that, guys. I want to start off with a little backstory. And I got a lot of, I got, actually have a lot to talk about in this video uh, regarding just what has been happening in the prison world. Um, yeah, so guys, basically Quagmire was online one day and I was like, hmm, you know, I, I had uploaded like three videos at this point and um, I wanted to uh, continue uploading. Like I was having a lot of fun uploading. I, I still am having a lot of fun uploading and uh, I'm really enjoying it. And I was like, hmm, what if I technically got the owner of the server? to say, hey, you should upload every day. And so I, I basically prompted Quagmire. I was like, I was like, Quag, in chat, I was like, Quag, you should challenge me to upload a, a Trapped MC video every single day for the rest of season three. And he's, it took him about 30 seconds to respond, but he said, Bumpy, I challenge you to do that. And so technically he challenged me to this because, you know, he said that and I screenshotted it too, but showing you guys the screenshot re would require me editing and you guys know that I don't edit anymore. Like I'm just not editing any of these videos. It's just me talking into a microphone. Uh, so it's pretty funny because I've seen the watch time for these videos in my analytics and it's actually insane. I mean, I'm getting so much watch time from these videos. Uh, because I think a lot of you guys just mine and you guys just watch me or you don't even, you probably don't even watch me because, uh, you guys are mining, but you might have me on your second monitor or something. But anyways, you guys probably just listen to this like a podcast. That's what I've heard in the feedback, uh, just in chat and stuff like that, that you guys just find my voice kind of relaxing to listen to while you guys mine. And that's encouraging because, I like th this kind of video style because, um, you know, it's it's just easy to do. You know, I literally, <laughs> I press record, I make my screen full screen, and then I play the game, and then at the end I hit uh, stop recording, and then I just upload the file to YouTube. Uh, it's literally just, it's, it's like a podcast in a way. And uh, here's my, my friend, uh, Perry Platypus. And uh, basically, that brings me to my next topic. Uh, my, my friend, Perry Platypus, just got online. And me and him, we actually are in an agreement. Hello, friend. Hello. Um, we have done something cool. Okay. And this brings me to my next topic. Um, basically, if I'm, I have to go to, to my cell to show you guys yeah, what I've been working on. Because as you guys know, I'm currently in the Y rank. Okay, I'm currently in the Y rank. And man, you know, we got a tough road ahead with the fishing quests, guys. It's it's going to be pretty brutal. We have to fish a net for the Y rank. We have to fish five les le oh my gosh, legendary fish. And um, by the way, I did I redid my cell. Uh, we have eight smelters now. Uh, very compact, but very, um, very practical, very functional. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how this has been turning out. But guys, basically, what um, what I've been working on is pretty special, and I just realized the item I've been working on does not require me to go back to my cell. So we're kind of just here showing you guys my cell, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and just put my unsmelted ores in there and um yeah we can just do slash sell all but yeah here's my cell definitely did some upgrades on this made it more efficient um it's very functional like i said very happy with the end result of this but guys my current balance is about six hundred and fifty thousand. and if we go to my ender chest here we have a few things we have my RTX 3060s. I bought three of these before I realized that I can't use them until I prestige. So I'm just holding on to them for when I do prestige. My current rack is all 2070s, which is cool. But um, 
yeah, we have some, some fishing rods here. But then we have this. We have bait one on a lure three, unbreaking three rod. Now, for those of you who don't know, bait is very valuable on this server. I mean, this is a, this bait enchantment cost me six million on this server. And yes, we have this. Oh, paleoanthropology. No, scam, scam. I said it first and he got it. That's, that's tough. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's okay. Um, but yeah, guys, we have bait. We have bait. And this took me all, like, this took me a, a few days to, to get. And um, it's interesting because now we got to get mending or preservation. And by the way, guys, I got a request for a coffee tour at some point. We already have a coffee made today. So cheers to you all. I'm going to take a sip of coffee now. So it's a little cold. Not going to lie. I made it like 30 minutes ago. So going to have to probably get another cup of coffee during this episode. Very exciting. But yeah, we have bait. Now we just got to save up for mending. That reminds me, I need to vote. Voting is important. Uh, let's go to this one. Hopefully it works. Uh, you guys can't like see my screen, I think. There we go. Okay. But here we are. Did my game just crash? That's sick. But what I can do, guys, is this. We have the big boy face cam. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna boot up my game again. Uh, yeah, sometimes my game just crashes when I exit full screen and it's weird. Um, but I need to get back online for the vote party. But yeah, now you guys can see my beautiful face with my glasses, you know, up, up close. The low quality camera is just very hype. It's very hype. Uh, and we froze a little bit it looks like because yeah, it, it, a lot's happening, okay. Yep, Minecraft's booting up. If I cut out there a little bit, guys, I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and go back to Minecraft. Let's get that going. Should be all good here. There we go, Minecraft. Perfect. Sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties here on the Bumpy Podcast slash Trapped MC video thing we got going. Uh, okay, I believe my microphone cuts out a little bit whenever the resource pack loads. So I think we're good though. I think we're good. Should be all set now. If we're not, oh well. But we did vote successfully. So we should be all set. But yeah, guys, the bait fishing rod, that's huge. But now we need to save up for mending. That's our next goal. And... Um, there are some mending books currently on the auction house. Um, where is it at? Where's some mending? Oh, uh, they might have got they might have gotten bought. Not gonna lie. Nope, they're right here. Eight point eight million. We have seventeen hours roughly. Um, oh, there's there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. So basically, we have opportunities. We have opportunities to get mending. We just need the money, and that's where Perry the platypus comes into play. Where's my boy Perry at? Perry is not here. Perry, Perry, did you get lost in the mines, Perry? Perry, are you okay? Where'd Perry go? No, we've lost Perry, guys. Hopefully Perry returns. He is literally one of my income sources at this point. That leads me to my next point. Me and him have a partnership. We, we have a partnership where literally, we are both saving up our money together. And uh, how this is going to work is um, basically me and him are both combining our funds to get to this 9 million that we need, or 8.8 .8 million that we need. Because um, we are both in the Y rank. We could both benefit from it. Um, and yeah, it is a great opportunity 
for both of us to prestige because we, we both have fishing quests that are just going to be so tough. And um, so I, I bought the bait book with my own funds. Like all of my funds went into that bait book. So that's how I have 650K. And I already sold all my assets and stuff pretty much. I, I mean, I have no mine crates. I have no keys. We are a broke bumpy right now. And that's not good. We don't want to be a broke bumpy. But we need bending, all right? And basically, Perry, his net worth right now is above 3 million. Like, he, he's definitely got at least 3 million in assets. He has like a million in crypto. He has like a 1.8 million. He has like 2 million, uh, a balance of 2 million. And he has lots of ores that I'm going to sell. We're trying to avoid paying double tax. So it might be more beneficial if I let him buy the book because he already has so much money. And if he pays me money, we pay 20% tax on that. We pay 10% tax on crypto transfers. And um, yeah, me and him are working together to get this rod. Uh, so yeah, basically with the bait enchant, you might be wondering what the percentage was on the bait book. Because I, I didn't buy the rod. I, I bought a book that was 80% chance of success. And there's a really funny story with this too. Because like... I was, oh, oh, Perry just listed a key card. Okay, so he must be in his cell working. He, he's not lost in the mines. That's good to hear. Good to hear about Perry. But, oh, here, here he is. Perry, Perry. Hey, Perry. How you doing, Perry? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sneak up on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Perry. Um, yeah, me and him, we're working together. But with this book... Um, it was 80% and I was very scared that it was going to fail. I, I really thought after spending 6 million, like, oh uh, dude, it could have been bad if it failed, but, oh, he has almost a full double chest of copper blocks. That's awesome. Yeah, dude, like he's got, he's got orders for days. Um, he is... He's putting in good work, man. Me and him, we're working together. We're, we're going to help each other out. And uh, the plan is that the rod will be mine. It'll be my rod since I got the bait book. But we're going to share it in the sense that when I'm offline, uh, I'll give the rod to him so he can fish. And basically, we're just both going to use it to prestige. Because there's fishing quests that we need to get done. And the bait rod will help us out tremendously. So that's the plan. But with this bait book, I had a very bad scare. You know, I bought it from Smoker, uh, underscore I'm, or let's see, what, what is his username? Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, Smoker is his name. <laughs> and um, yeah, basically I bought the book from him for six million. And uh, I was asking him questions about what I needed for the rod. And he said mending or preservation will work just fine. And I double checked those answers and yeah, so my plan is to get mending. It's more the, the supply of demand or <laughs> the supply of mending is is good. You know, there's four books on auction, 8.8 .8 million. You know, it, it's like a lot, obviously, but we're going to get there. And uh, so I, I get the book from him. You know, I, I buy it. And um, yeah, basically, I was like, you know, I haven't really combined... I haven't, I haven't put a custom enchant on a pickaxe yet this season. So I kind of forgot how to do it. Um, okay. Sell all. Yeah. Um, so I kind of forgot how to do it, how to like combine it. So what I did was I was in a chest and I tried to put the book onto the pickaxe, but it wouldn't work. Like it, it wouldn't like go onto the pickaxe or it wouldn't even like register as me putting the item onto the pickaxe. And I, I was scared. I was like flabbergasted. Yep. I didn't know how to spell that. Tough scene. Um, so yeah, I literally tried putting this book onto the pickaxe multiple times and it, it wouldn't register. And the reason was it was in a chest, uh, like, a chest um, screen, not my inventory screen. It was in a chest. And so you can't combine items in a chest like that. So I realized that about 20 seconds after I first tried doing that. And 
what's funny is Smoker was like like waiting to for me to tell him if it worked or not. And for me not texting him or for me not messaging him in 20 seconds, he was scared that it didn't work. And he was like, no, did it not work? And he, the funniest thing was he said, he said, uh, he messaged me saying, why are you not talking? Like that's what he said word for word. He didn't, it wasn't grammatically correct. It was why are you not talking? And it was the funniest thing because I read that after the fact after I applied it and it successfully worked and I read that and I was laughing so hard because it was like, cause he was actually scared. Like he actually wanted me, he wanted it to work so bad and uh, he would have felt so bad if it didn't work. But he, he was scared because I, it's not like I, int I intentionally, uh, like I didn't intentionally like scare him, but like <laughs> it just wasn't working cause it was in a chest. Uh, there's a like GUI, a, a chest, graphic i don't even know english is hard okay like come on give me a break but yeah so luckily it worked uh, thank goodness it did because it took a while to get six million on my own and i'm just like man nine million that's that's far away and i'm like you know what there's some other people in y rank they're facing the same challenge i am i've known perry over the past few days because we've been in the same ranks together ranking up and it's been interesting because I messaged him. I was like just asking him some questions to see if he'd be a good candidate for a partnership. And I was telling him, so like, what is your plan? Like, what is your game plan for the fishing quest? And he, he messaged me back saying, dude, I don't know. I've been avoiding that quest. And I was like, ooh, that's good. That means he's in the same boat I am. He doesn't want to do the fishing quest with only lure three. So, you know, it, it brought us to the next, the next phase. We're just like, uh, basically, I asked him a few more questions, like, what is your balance? How much money you got? Like, um, you know, just what, what is your thinking for this quest? And he's like, dude, I don't know. I don't know what my thinking is. But he told me he had $1.8 million um, dollars on the server. And I was like, ooh, that's good. That's good. That, that's a good start towards our 8.8 .8 million. You know, that's like roughly 20% of what we need, 25% maybe. And I'm just like, okay, that's good. That'd be a good start. And um, and then so then the conversation kind of like ended, or so I thought. You know, he paused in conversation for a few minutes, and then he messaged me. He's like, dude, um. I forget how we started talking about bait, but I think I brought up bait and I was telling him my plan, like how with bait, like I had acquired it and he's like, how did you get bait? And, um, I was telling him a little bit about it without revealing too much. Um, because I didn't want to like express a need like that. I needed his help even though I was kind of just testing him. I was kind of seeing like, would you be a good fit for this for this uh, partnership? And then he asked me, he's like, dude, if I contribute like half towards the mending book, like, would you want to team up and save up for it? And so you could interpret that as being like, oh, well, he's just trying to hop on board. I mean, you already have the bait book. It came up later in the conversation that since I bought the bait book, it would be my rod, but I would let him use it when I'm offline and when he needed to get the fishing quest done. And um, over time, we would work it out to where, like, basically, like, somehow in the future we'll work it out. Those details aren't finalized yet. But basically, we just have the same goal of getting prestige because once we get the prestige mine, we can make money quicker. Uh, we just have more opportunities with enchants. It's a big step getting prestige, but we just don't want to fish with lure three, man. Like with with only lure three. I mean, that's tough. That is tough. So yeah, me and him are teaming up. We're about halfway. I'd, I'd say we're about halfway there. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with that whole thing. And. Yeah, we're just both grinding, bro. We're just trying to mine, but it's comforting knowing that our efforts are going towards something that'll be an investment for the, the long haul. So yeah, it's 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 good. 
And that's kind of the most recent news because I've been in Y now for a few days. And uh, I got all the mining quests done. If I do slash quests, here's where we're at. We just have this quest left, obtain a fishing net. And yeah, we gotta catch it. We can't just throw one on the ground because I have a few fishing nets that I bought. But we can't just throw one on the ground and pick it up. We gotta actually understand and catch a, a fishing net. So yeah, it, it do be tough out here. But we are making progress. Things are going good. We just gotta keep persevering, keep mining. And um, yeah, it, it's also tough without a rank, guys, because I can't do any warps. Like I have no warps besides slash spawn. That's all I have. So it's like, it takes forever for me to run back to my cell. So I've, I've been figuring out like, what is the best way for me to go about minimizing my running time to my cell while maximizing my money making efficiency. And here's what I came up with. So when my inventory fills up, you, I mean, you guys have, have seen me do this now, you know, half a dozen times. But when my, when my inventory gets full, I go over to these crafting tables, which I, I didn't even know these existed until like I was talking to Perry and I was asking him about his strategy for how he does it. But he has a rank, he has MVP. So I'm not sure what commands he gets, but basically he told me before he had a rank, he would go up to the crafting table and he would, you know, combine his blocks like this. And then what I've figured out is I like to throw my emeralds on the ground, do sell all, and then just pick up my emeralds. And that's how I've come up with this system where I'm keeping all the raw ores plus the emerald blocks. And I'll sell the raw ores to the malls and I'll sell the emerald blocks to the server shop. So that is how I've come up with this game plan. Uh, well, you know, I've, I've used Perry to help come up with this strategic game plan. Uh, so yeah, it's been good. We just need to keep mining a lot more. <laughs> that's where we're at. We're at 660k, but that's you know, it, it's a it's a tough road ahead, guys. You know, but it, it's going to be a lot easier with help. And once we get the nine million or so that we need, it'll be good. It'll be good. So, yeah, but for now, we are just mining, and, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of mining, <laughs> so that's kind of the whole, the whole update, guys, um, that's, that's the, the bulk of news that I have for you all, but I encourage you guys to keep watching, because I'm going to continue, uh, recording, and we're going to continue finding things to talk about because watch time is awesome i did the math i did the math and to keep my eligibility for monetization i need to average around 11 hours of watch time per day and right now i'm averaging like five hours per day from these videos alone like you guys are going crazy bro you guys are watching these videos whether it's you know whether you're actually watching them or just listening to them or whatever i mean i'm seeing great watch time statistics for my type of videos like <laughs> these are these videos have been the best performing watch time videos that i have ever had on this channel and they require little effort they require like no effort and it's wonderful because people keep telling me bumpy your videos are like like good like i enjoy listening to you while i'm mine and that is just so cool i'm glad that i can provide like i'm glad i can like pump out this content every day because it's doable. I just have to record and I record for like 40 minutes or so per video. I could record for like 20 if I wanted to, but the longer I make the videos, the more watch time I get from the people who are watching. Oh wait, 82 times 51. No, somebody got it faster. I typed it in wrong anyway. Um, but yeah, so yeah but basically it's it's been encouraging it's i'm very encouraged that um that you guys are enjoying these videos uh, i've had 
I've had really no one say like, Bumpy, your, your videos are just absolute trash. And I'm sure like the quality obviously is just, if you're looking at it from a quality standpoint, like obviously the face cam, low quality face cam, microphone, low quality microphone. For the first seven episodes, I had my hot bar misaligned and I, I fixed that. I, see, I, my computer is not uh, 1920 by 1080. So it kind of messed up the, the OBS settings. I made it so you can see my hot bar now, so you can see what items I'm, I'm holding. But you can't see the top of my screen, so like the mining level, MC, MMO stuff, you can't see. But I think you guys would rather see the scoreboard and the, the hot bar compared to the top of my screen, which just has MC, MMO stuff. So I did fix that. I improved the quality of the videos, guys. I, that deserves a thumbs up. That deserves more watch time. You guys have to watch to the end now because you can see my hot bar, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Also, also, in the comment section, I need to know, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer me to wear glasses or do you guys prefer me to not wear glasses? Because it really doesn't matter. I can wear either one. Um, but I've been doing both. I've been wearing glasses and I've been not wearing glasses. And neither one is totally fine. I do wear contacts. So that's why I don't have glasses on sometimes. But it really just depends if I'm wearing contacts or not. So, with that being said, in the comments, I need to know. Bumpy glasses or no bumpy glasses. And you must comment. If you don't comment, you are doing me a disservice. You need to comment because I need to know. I need to know. And if I don't know, how will I ever move forward with my glasses career? I'm getting so emotional over this topic. I'm literally like tearing up. Why am I tearing up? This is not okay. I am tearing up over glasses. What the heck? Maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is God telling me. <laughs> God's telling me, Bumpy, you need to get emotional here. You, you need to. You know, you got to tear up. You got to make them want it. You got to make them want to comment. Okay? Man, dude, I'm actually tearing up. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, man. Okay. Um, but, guys, I really do appreciate you for watching these videos. It really does mean a lot. So, just know that you are much appreciated um, because I'm encouraged when I see, uh, just people telling me while I'm on the server, Bumpy, when's the next video? And I keep telling them, guys, I'm uploading daily at 11 PM EST. And yeah, people are just excited. You know, it's like a podcast vibe. It's, it's cool. It's cool. And you guys seem to really be enjoying it. And uh, I'm really encouraged by that. So just know that these type of videos are definitely doable for me to upload, uh, daily. And, and like, I mean that because I just have to hit record and end record and then upload it. The most time it takes me is obviously the re recording part. But second to that is just me putting in the title, me um, putting in all the like just analytical stuff for the video when I upload it to YouTube. And that takes like three minutes of my time. And it's like, it's just actually, I, I say this genuinely, it is realistic to upload a video per day because I can pre-record some days when I need to when I'm busy another day and like I'm just having a lot of fun on the server right now and it's just it's really cool because I'm genuinely enjoying I'm, I'm genuinely enjoying making these videos and uh, I'm, I'm slightly pr preparing more for each video just to have more topics of discussion I'm, I'm trying to be a little more intentional um, because you know before I would just have like sometimes nothing to talk about and I would just press record and yeah, and I would just kind of wing it, just YOLO. However, if I do have some points of discussion, that, that just makes the quote unquote podcast just better. Um, it just has more, more depth to it just because I have more to talk about. And that's good because uh, obviously when I'm not talking, it can be even, I mean, it can be boring, obviously, because I'm just not talking. Um, but it just creates more excitement when I have something to, to talk about. So, um, yeah, I will continue, um, you know, trying to find things to talk about because 
having things to talk about is not only fun for me, but it, it creates just a, a better quality video. Ironically enough though, <laughs> I was debating about whether or not to fix my hotbar because my hotbar was, you know, covered by the video. And I was like, well, do I keep it, do I intentionally keep the quality lower by not having the hot bar showing? <laughs> it was a genuine thought. I was like, you know, I was like, well, my, my series is already low quality. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> that was mid burp. Okay. Uh, my series is already low quality enough. It's like, well, I, if I increase the quality, it might actually hurt me. <laughs> it might hurt the content of the video. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's unique because I ultimately decided to fix the hotbar. I, I ultimately did. Uh, just because somebody requested it and I was like, well, you know, I don't have a ton of viewers on this series, but if I am getting a request by somebody for me to fix my hotbar, then I should probably fix it because it, it does. I'm sure other people have thought the same thing, like, oh, I can't see his hotbar. So this, this helps that. This helps that. But... Um, and I had another, I had another, <laughs> I had another topic of discussion just come to my mind. And then I was like, Oh, I'll remember it. But then I tried to finish up this topic with the hot bar. And now I don't remember. I don't remember the topic. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, just know that I'm having a lot of fun guys. And, Oh, I do remember, um, Basically, like, I'm one of the only people that's, like, making a YouTube series on Trapped. So I think it's a it's a great way for me to just have some uniqueness to the niche itself. Because, um, oh, I haven't been using my Super Breaker. Darn it. Just realized that. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, it, it's a unique perspective because, like, nobody is recording a series on here. So it's like, even though my quality isn't great, it's just, it's still like somebody making a series on Trapped MC, which is good exposure. And then also like just having an ongoing series is just good, you know, um, for the server. Uh, I'd love to support this server. It's uh, Cletus and Quag have been nothing but kind to me and supportive of me. And, um, you know, it's, it's been really cool. And, um, yeah, and I, I like being a no rank as well. I, I really do. I, I I told myself I'm not spending any money on this server. Uh, not that I don't want to support the server. Um, I think making a series is definitely supporting the server. So, um, but I just don't want to spend my money on on a, a rank. Um, I've been reading some good audiobooks that have talked about money, and I want to be more intentional with my spending. And uh, you know, I've been praying about you know, how I should go about spending my money. And uh, a Minecraft server is not where I want to spend my money. So that's that's what I've came up with uh, through the, the prayers and just how God has been working in my life and speaking to me. Uh, I just don't think spending my money on a Minecraft server is the move at this point in my life. Um, I want to be more intentional with my spending and just, you know, I'm, I'm trying to build long-term wealth. Um, and it, it starts with, you know, starting today, you know, what, what steps am I going to do today to, to, uh, as Dave, as, geez, as Dave Ramsey put it, live like no one else so that in the future you can live like no one else. That came from the book, Total Money Makeover. So I highly recommend it. It's free on YouTube. It's an audiobook on YouTube. Dave Ramsey himself reads the book for the audiobook version. It's a wonderful book. Uh, Dave Ramsey is a Christian. He connects his money making or his, his money um, like rules or his money system with Bible verses. Uh, but it's, it's also just, it, you cannot, uh, you can't go wrong with this system. You really can't. Uh, it, it, it's like, it's a wonderful system. And even just learning about his system is, you know, incentive enough for you guys to check it out. It's free on YouTube. Just search up Total Money Makeover Audiobook. It'll be great for you guys. I, I guarantee it. Uh, it. It can only help you. Just having 
some knowledge about a different perspective. Reading is just such a good thing to do. So yeah, I highly recommend you guys do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's cool. I, and then I read another book about money as well. Recently, it's called Your Money Map. It's by this guy named Howard Dayton. And very similar style of book. Um, he connects money to a lot of Christian Bible verses or just, you know, Bible verses. Um, yeah, he's a Christian and just hearing his story and the audiobook was such a unique perspective. I did spend money on that audiobook. I spent $11 on that audiobook. Um, but I'm seeing if I can get a library card and I, I don't want to spend more money on books if I don't have to. So I'm trying to get a library card to get access to a bunch of audiobooks. Um, that's what that's my game plan because I, I am interested in reading or listening, I guess you could say. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, I'm just very encouraged, guys. Very, very happy to be making these videos, this series. I'm happy with where I am in my life. Um, I'm very blessed with the life I have. Um, and yeah, I'm just grateful to be in the spot that I am um, spiritually, financially. Uh, and just I'm so appreciative of the things I have. And uh, it's been really cool just getting closer to God and just developing a deeper re relationship and understanding of, of God and, and who he is. It's, it's the number one thing in my life. Uh, and I know I've talked about this in previous videos. I, I know that religion can be um, just not, not necessarily a, a sensitive topic, but it, it can be. It can be a sensitive topic for some people. And, you know, I, I can't just hide my, my faith. You know, I, there, there are going to be times where I talk about God and there will be you know, other times where I will talk about God and it's the number one thing in my life. And, uh, it's important for you guys to understand that, um, because I can't hide my faith. So that's something I just want to reiterate because it is literally the number one thing in my life. And, uh, I can't hold that back when I'm recording, nor do I want to hold it back. I used to hold it back when I was younger and, and less mature, but I've come to the realization that we only live on this earth one time, and I have an opportunity to to share my experience with God and to, um, yeah, just to I just give my, my testimony of, of how God has been working in my life and how a relationship with Jesus Christ has changed my life. It's been really cool. It's been, you know, really, really cool does not, does not serve it well. It, it, it doesn't speak the volume that God speaks in my life. Uh, it, it, there's like, <laughs> it's funny, I, I think I'm losing my English. <laughs> There's a, there's a phrase for that. It doesn't speak volumes to what I'm actually trying to say. Like God is working exponentially more in my life than I could ever explain to you guys. So that's kind of how I wanted to phrase that. But yeah, it's, it's funny. I, I don't know what it is, but I, I seem to not be able to speak English sometimes. And it's like, what am I doing? What is Bumpy doing? What is Bumpy doing? Why is Bumpy so silly sometimes? And then I try to do a an accent. I don't even know what kind of accent that was. But it's the Bumpy accent. We'll just go with that. But yeah, guys, I've been doing nothing but mining this episode. But we've talked about a lot of great things. We really have. Uh, we've talked about so many things on various topics, too. So really cool stuff. And I'm going to keep recording. Uh, I'm not even sure what we're at. We're probably around 35 minutes or so. If I if I had to guess, we're at 35 minutes. Um, it might be at 32. I'm going to guess 32. I'm going to record a little longer, though. I'm going to keep this going. For those of you who want to contribute more to, to watch time, I appreciate it. Um, kind of running, running out of topics to talk about. Um, but, you know, that is what it is, man. That is what it is. 
But for those of you who want to stick around to the end, make sure to leave a comment and drop a like. We got like seven likes on the last video. That is so cool. It's so cool. Like, honestly, it's actually like super, super cool. Like if, if cool was a word, which it is, it is a word, guys. Cool is a word. It does not speak the volumes of how cool seven likes is. I mean, I, I don't know. I just wasn't expecting that. So, you know, my, my very first episode, well, it wasn't even the first episode. It was like the, just me making a video about this server, um, like a week ago or a, like almost two weeks ago. Uh, I was in a wife beater <laughs> during that video. And I was like, dude, <laughs> like, I just don't care. Like, you know, this, this series is going to be low quality. And those of you who want to watch it, it's like, hey, <laughs> like, dude, I am all on board. The lower the quality, the easier it is for me to make and upload. So it's like, and if you guys are enjoying it more than if I put in, like, I, I'm convinced you guys enjoy these videos more than my edited videos. Because when I try to edit, it's just like I'm trying to edit, and there's a there's a thing on YouTube now where it's like less editing is actually better, like to some degree. Now, obviously, I, I could do a few edits and possibly make it a little better, but you could argue against that. I think it's so cool to keep it real, and like I don't even edit the intros and outros. Like, <laughs> like when I press start recording, that is the first thing you see of the video, and when I stop talking like and say peace or whatever and I, and I say i'll see you guys next time like there is like a two second delay between that and the end of the video <laughs> so it, it is literally from start to finish there's no cuts there's nothing and for those of you still watching like you guys know that if you're watching episode seven or episode we're on episode eight i think if you're watching episode eight of a trap from sea prison series that is completely unedited and you're here on the 40th minute or somewhere close to the 40th minute that means you're a dedicated trapped mc fan or you're a dedicated bumpy fan or you are actually just the most entertained from this type of content and i am encouraged either way i i if you're still here man i'm i'm just so happy you're here I'm so happy that you're enjoying this. And if you're not enjoying this, you, you don't have to keep watching if you don't want to. I'm not forcing you guys to watch. You guys can click away. And you guys know that. So that means all of you here are voluntarily here. Except Perry. Where you at, Perry? You're you're here because I told you to go mine it. Where you at, Perry? I don't see Perry. Oh, well. Anyway. Let's go ahead and go back to my cell. Uh, let's just do a little update on the inventory. Just three regular fishing rods. These are my uh, mining event tools. RTX 3060s, two diamond pickaxes. There's my bait rod. That is worth a lot of money. That is worth a lot of money. But we are going to use it. And I'm excited. <clears throat> But, yeah, let's head back to our cell. Me and Perry have come to the conclusion that we are going to sell our ores raw. And he has like a full double chest of copper blocks. So, he's got a lot of copper, which is nice. It's nice to see. Um, let's see. Yeah, all that's good. Got my emeralds. We'll sell those to the server shop. And yeah, guys, I think that is probably not going to be the end because we're going to keep going, baby. We're going to keep the video going. We're going until we're... I don't know. I don't know. But I'll show you guys my inventory here of stuff. We have some diamond armor. Uh, we have that. Here's just some junk. More junk. Nothing in these chests. Uh, I got the I got the win there uh, for the chat game. I misspelled it too. <clears throat> oh, guys, signature move here from Bumpy. If you're still here, we're gonna go make a coffee. All right, I'm gonna finish this one off. It's pretty cold, but we're still gonna finish it.
So, cheers. And in the meantime, we are going to do something pretty, pretty nifty here. You guys are going to like this. We have a chair that we're going to set up right here. And we're going to sit here on this chair. I'm going to see if I can, well, it is too much work to find an object that'll actually, wait, this might work. This might actually work. No, it will not. What if I do, I, I want to sit down for you guys. I want to sit down, but I need something heavy enough. I, I need something heavy enough. Let's see. I need something. What is heavy? Ooh, dude. Wait a minute. <gasps> Dude, I did it. I used an eraser in my phone. Cheers. I'm going to get more coffee. I'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, this is, there will be a coffee tour one day. I know, I think it was Click mentioned something about a coffee tour. It won't be today, but someday we'll do a coffee tour. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. The coffee is making, or the coffee is brewing. I'm glad I had the opportunity to sit down on this very comfy chair for you guys. But back to business. We're going mining, boys. We're going mining. And uh, we're going to keep that. No, we're not. What am I saying? We're not going to keep that there. I don't even have room for a chair in my... Yeah, in, in this cell, I just, I don't. It's just not a thing I have. Do I need to create some more space? No, we're, we're not smelting anymore. Um, I have regular furnaces here for wood. I have a wood chest here somewhere, there it is. Um, so I'm gonna actually take advantage of some of this. We'll just do these three stacks. There we go. Cool. And that'll make some charcoal for us. Um, so that's why I got two there. We got six blast furnaces. Yeah, so we, we got some ores. Very happy about that. And uh, yeah, that's what we're looking like there. Over here, I don't think we have anything. It's cool because I can access all these chests. Like here's here's our gold blocks. Got a bunch of ores there. We need more though. Definitely need more. So yeah, I mean, I, I have to do slash spawn and go over to the warp area to get back to the mine and, and then I have to do the same thing and to get to my cell I have to go to the cells and we have Perry Perry I'm gonna sneak up on Perry Perry <laughs> Perry's funny bro he has fly time that's cool that is cool man oh we got nothing good Darn it. Darn it. We got a chamber, but we got nothing good. A basic chamber. Interesting. That was not, that was very anticlimactic. I don't get many chambers. That was very anticlimactic. I will not lie. That was, that was pretty brutal. Um, but yeah, me and Perry, you know, there's like four books on the auction house. We're going to try to try to get what we need but you know it could take some time we're trying to avoid double taxes too you know the server already gets so much of our tax money you know 
So we're trying to have me sell all the ores so that if he sells the ores, then he'll have to pay tax on that. And then we'll have to pay tax again when he sends me over the funds. So, yeah. I'm thinking when we do the auction house thing, like he should just auction off a stick or something and I'll, and I'll, or no, I'll auction off a stick and he'll buy it to transfer the funds, the 15%. Oh man, I just fell. I just fell. I'm a silly guy. So that's what I'm thinking. We do have depth strider. That's actually useful. That's cool. Here's my armor, by the way. I'm this is I'm exposing myself here. Full prop four. I mean, what do you expect? I, I mean, iron armor. You know, not gonna have anything, any good in chance. So, you know. Yep, but I'm officially out of things to talk about. I, I've I've talked about a lot this episode. We we have gone over some some really cool stuff. Um, yeah. With that being said, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. It's just gonna be more mining. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to comment if you if you want glasses bumpy or if you want contacts bumpy. You know, let me know in the comments. It's an obligation. You must. You must do so. If you don't, do you really watch these videos? I will never know unless you comment. So be sure to comment. With that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for tuning in. And I will see you in future episodes. And yeah, peace.